the great Twitter resignation captured in real time on the company's own platform as employees tweeted goodbye to their job and new boss. You knew Musk was going to cut, but now it's almost a Game of Thrones between internal Twitter employees and Musk. Prompted by this ultimatum from boss Elon Musk, telling staff he wanted a breakthrough Twitter 2.0 to be extremely hardcore, meaning he wanted staff to commit to long hours at high intensity or leave. Around 1,200 workers reportedly chose the latter. We're all about to get fired. Adding to the Twitter casualty toll, Musk culled half of the company's 7,500 employees when he bought it last month. You've got engineers, bright people working there who can get other jobs. Elon Musk has blocked access to company buildings for most employees, but he's parked himself at headquarters and ordered staff who code to present themselves in person to show him their work so that he can better understand the technology that underpins Twitter. With key coding personnel leaving, experts say it leaves the platform vulnerable. People see the potential for just waking up one morning and going to the Twitter website and it's just gone. One of Twitter's busiest events, the FIFA World Cup, is just days away and will be the first real test of Musk's skeleton staff. I would not be shocked to see just massive outages, bugs. You can't just be a pilot on the plane with, with no one else behind you. And I think that's part of the problem here with Twitter. A timeline with an uncertain future. Carrington Clark, ABC News, San Francisco.